And then the next one we're going to go into thoracic inlet. We're doing session number, section number two, or series two, whatever you want to call it. Good girl, Tasman. She's probably getting sleepy thinking, all right, it's my nap time. Ideally, after this is all done and over with, she'll be able to maybe get in and out of a litter box. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, wow. That'd be awesome. That'd be quite a concept. And Jasmine's history, that would be a, a major victory, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. That's why we're filming this stuff, too, because if it does work, how cool would that be? <laughs> She'd be a star. If this has any... If this is even close to what I think it's going to be able to do, this is going to absolutely revolutionize how we approach med most of our medical cases and some of our surgical cases, too. That'd be great. Does that yeah. seem to hurt, or is she just getting annoyed? She's just being jasmine, I think. <laughs> okay, well, that's normal. She's like, excuse me, I'm at my nappy time. Mm -hmm. That would be yeah. awesome if this was just like totally the bomb. Yeah. Well, the seminar I went to was a uh, veterinary applications of this, and three quarters of the doctors there were chiropractors, right. and a couple of them um, have been using this this particular Arconia device in their practice for a while, and they were just kind of there to you know, get some more information on, on utilization in the veterinary aspects, and they said it has totally revolutionized how they apply uh, their gifts and their knowledge of, of chiropractic and holistic uh, medicine by using this uh, low-level laser it's therapy. It would be really nice if this is, you know, invasive stuff doesn't have to happen. Well, I'm, the, with the uh, seminar, with the, the materials we got, we um, actually got a, a handbook of, of human protocols too and I was just scanning through it to see what they had in addition to you know the protocols that we got to have for the veterinary applications and they were they had protocols for sciatica and um, yeah, menstrual issues and um, really auditory issues <laughs> <for> <laughs> all kinds of stuff and I thought are you kidding me I mean, it, it was amazing the number of different protocols they had with that, I thought, wow, wow. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking from our standpoint. If if we can treat diabetics with this protocol and oh, reduce their insulin needs to, you know, half or even get their pancreas totally functional, where they're, you know, not needing any insulin, would that be amazing? I mean, would that, that's so. So, uh, people who can't move well and start moving better again. Such a paradigm shift, you know. I think, you know, okay. Well, we're, you know, we're all energy, we're all, you know, it, yep. it makes sense. Well, the, 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 the key thing to, to keep in mind is that cells communicate by light emission, mm -hmm. by photon emission, and um, uh, one of the, the uh, well known facts is, is during fertilization, when the, when the, uh, sperm and the egg uh, get together and fertilize, they, they emit a um, uh, light wave that's uh, 634.8 nanometers. And She's falling asleep. Basically, this is a 